Welcome to my kitchen. I am B from Thermi Tucker and uh, I hope you'll join me today for this little video about a little sweet treat that is super healthy. Um, and you might be surprised at one of the ingredients, but let's get started because this lovely little recipe is called coconut and beetroot balls or bliss balls, uh, those type of things that you uh, associate with going to the gym or little snacks. Um, and this is such an easy, easy recipe to do um, and uses, yes, raw beetroot. I know that sounds really strange. Uh, this is one of my personal favorite recipes from cookiedo.com.au. So have a look for it. And let's get started with um, our favorite, favorite ingredient. Um, I know it sounds strange, but I promise you the taste that you will have from these, um, you will be pleasantly surprised. So the first ingredient is 210 grams worth of your raw beetroot. So all you need to do is just peel that and cube that up because the machine is going to do the mixing for you. So the next ingredient, traditionally, obviously, inside of a bliss ball or an amaze ball is your dried dates. I have gone ahead and removed the little uh, pit that's inside. This is medjool dates. I love to use these. They give a better uh, finishing or finished product to the balls and they uh, really make sure that your ball forms beautifully. So 12 of these. And then the next ingredient is 130 grams of desiccated coconut. Um, you can put that straight in. And the last uh, solid ingredient, I suppose, is your cashew nuts, 80 grams worth of your raw cashew nuts. And then put that in. Then you need two tablespoons of cacao powder or cocoa powder, depending on what you prefer. Uh, the difference between the two is how it's processed. Um, one with heat, one without. So the healthier version is the cacao. Uh, and then the last ingredient I've just realized I did not bring out of the fridge, so give me a sec, uh, is the vanilla extract. I usually do make my own, but uh, because of me moving, I've just been purchasing so that I can still bake. Um, and be able to do my stuff from home. So one, or oh, it's actually half a teaspoon. Pour that in. If you want to, like I'm doing in my case, add a little bit extra because uh, vanilla extract obviously will give it a great flavor and a great finish. So uh, there we go, that's it. We will now blitz that for 15 seconds on speed seven. So I won't talk. So um, the next step is to just make sure that you've got some coconut set aside and then you are going to roll your balls. So I'm just going to show you an example. Oh, that smells so good. Um, I'm just gonna roll an uh, example out for you and also just let you know, it says 22 portions. So you can get 22 balls out of this. Um, otherwise you can make them smaller if you want them really small snack size. Um, and also a great thing for you is you can keep this in your freezer for, it says a month. Um, on your hints and tips in the recipe. It says, yep, up to a month. So um, definitely something to have uh, as a backup snack. You can literally pull it out and eat it straight out the freezer, which is how I love to enjoy this in summertime. Um, I'm gonna make a mini ball so that you guys can see what it looks like. So good, like really seriously. <laughs> you would never think so, but I'm actually gonna eat it so you guys can have a look. I have put gloves on so that my hands don't get pink, but mm, mm, mm. the best. I'm sorry. <laughs> I love chocolate. And if you can stick in an element of some vegetables in there, hard that kids don't even know. So um, really, really good. My mouth is watering, excuse me. But 
give this one a go super super easy coconut and beetroot let me just double check yep coconut and beetroot balls from cookiedo.com.au and um Hope you'll give this a try. Let me know if you have tried this recipe or perhaps if you are thinking of doing that. And uh, let me know what you think about them. I'd love to know. Have a great day, everybody. I'll be back again with another recipe from my kitchen. You take care and be from Thirmi Tucker. Cheerio.